everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. You know the guy who knows way too much about screenwriting software? Well, today I have something a little different for you. Today we're actually going to look at a Microsoft Word and see if we can write a screenplay using that, uh, using a special template. Now, the, one of the things that will get your screenplay automatically tossed out of any sort of reader or agent or anything like that or, or contest is if it's not in the proper format. So the proper format is really important, which is why I always recommend screenwriting software. But let's say you can't afford that. There's a bunch of free ones of those as well, too. You could use Fade In. You could use um, Studio Binder as well as Kitsonaris. But I digress. Let's just say you really want to do it in Word. Well, let me show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is have a template. Now, where I found this was at was on Studio Binder. And I'll put that in below where you can download the free template. And so we're here on Studio Binder right now. And it's going to sort of walk you through. Um, well, the big question is, can MS Word able to format scripts? And the answer is sort of. Um, you get pretty close, but I'll tell you right now, it's not easy to use. Um, but there's a way to do it. Uh, and so as we go down here, you simply have to go here and you can download the template here. We'll take a look at that template right now and see what it looks like. So this is what the template looks like after you go into Word. As you can scroll down, you can sort of see you can add in easily into the screenplay title. You can also change the author's name as well, too. Uh, they have a guide to uh, your your agent or your company name, address, phone number, email. Uh, then they have this annoying footer at the bottom, and I'll show you how to get rid of that once we get going. Uh, and so here is sort of the way that you can sort of see how they do the different formatting. So you might be asking yourself, well, Paul, how do we actually do this formatting? And it's, it has to do with these little panels that are right up here. And we'll show you the, how to do that here in just a couple of moments. Um, I'm just going to go down here. And it does do have a nice little guide here. It tells you what the scene headings mean, what fade in or fade out is, um, scene numbers, uh, transition, um, action, character, dialogue, all this sort of stuff right here uh, is all available for you to put into your thing right now. So let's take a look at a script that I have been sturdily working on, and I'll sort of show you how things work. So as we take a look at this script, and again, I'm just actually taking the script right off the template. I just resaved it as something different. I retain, renamed it a Studio Binder script. Uh, and you can see here, uh, right here is Fade In. Carl was running. So we have the action line. We have uh, a character as well as a dialogue as well, too. Let's just show you really quickly how to get rid of this particular footer here, because this is pretty annoying and you don't want that in your script. So if you want to get rid of the footers, uh, simply go up to View, go down to Header and Footer, uh, and then you go to Footer, which is right here. You simply go down to Remove Footer, and there you go. The footer is gone. Yay! And then we simply close header and footer, and those lines are taken off. So one of the things, too, you can do when you're doing this particular template, the nice thing is I sort of left this in here so you can sort of see what each of those different things represents, how it is shown in the script, how the formatting works and stuff like that to make sure you have it all right. Uh, so as we go down here, what I haven't put in is the, the scene location thing. So let's take a look up here. Uh, and so we can see the scene heading is actually the same as uh, the action. So if I want to add a scene heading, I'm just going to hit return. I'm going to move myself back up to that particular line. And then I'm going to look up here. So I'm going to be an action and scene setting. So what I want to put in here, I'm going to put in interior. Uh, actually, let's do exterior since he's outside running. All right, so we have exterior night. Um, and then we have the action line here. Uh, so then if I want to create a, uh, so if I want to create a character name, I simply go up to here. And so what will happen, let me show you what will happen if we don't put this in here first. So the first thing I'll do is hit return. And then let's say I want to put a character name. I want to say Carl is going to say something. So I simply go up here, click character name. I type in Carl, I hit return, and then I hit dialogue. And then I can say, I am running for it. Um, and so that's basically, so whenever I want to change the type of action I'm doing, so if you're using a screenwriting software, you generally can use the, you can use tab. Here you're going to have to go up here and you're going to have to go into this menu and change and, and pick out what you want to do. The nice thing, if you t hit the little button here, uh, you can see the different things that you can have. You have parenthetical, dialogue, character name, author, fade in, fade out. That's sort of like... Um, 
you know, when you have, oh, transitions are right here. I was just thinking transitions, but this is that when you want to type in fade in or fade out. And so you can keep working your way through your script like this. So you can keep using action scene uh, and then doing character dialogue. So it's very much like the screenwriting software that you see, except it's not as easy and quick to use. Uh, you see, I'm constantly gonna be working up here into this particular menu here, uh, but it can be done. Um, but, and this is, like I said, when you look at the final product, the formatting is gonna be just fine. The formatting is actually gonna be pretty good. So let me take that same bit of dialogue and I'm gonna run it through Final Draft to sort of show you if there's a difference. So right now I'm going to use Final Draft right now, sort of that industry standard as people like to say. Okay, so let's try and see what this looks like using Fade In, see how close these two things are in terms of their uh, formatting. So I'm just gonna write the same thing again. The nice thing about Final Draft is I just start to type and it already sort of has stuff figured out for me uh, in terms of, of, like if I wanna say Fade In or if I wanna say Day Night, uh, you generally tend to not have that with this type of for formatting. So this, again, screenwriting software saves you time. So again, like I said, it's showing me everything I need to know. I'm simply hitting Enter to begin um, to, to get through different things. If I wanna do scene heading, uh, if I'm, I'm in action right now, so Carl is running down the street. And then if I want to do character, Carl. And right there, I'm at dialogue. And so what did I tell us? Say, Carl, I'm running for it. Okay. So you can sort of see the difference in how easy it is for me to sort of transition between stuff. I'm simply hitting the tab key versus having to move my mouse all the way up here and figure out, okay, which of these are I'm gonna, which one do I need to have? Um, and But if you look at the formatting, the formatting looks pretty similar to each other because that's what the template's for. It's supposed to stuff, it's supposed to look pretty close. So again, you can see that the template is basically getting it right. Sort of limitations of the, template though is that you're not going to be able to have it sort of fill in words for you as you're as you're writing like i said if you have exterior uh, street or it's not going to remember scene names it's not going to remember character names um, and so that's one thing to keep in mind uh, and one of the advantages of using a screenwriting software even some of the free ones i've mentioned before well let me know if you like this template or if you have any questions about this particular template uh, until the next video live well and write well